Hello again, John Terzak here to answer the question, how to make tzatziki. That's a Greek yogurt, cucumber, garlic, olive oil, lemon mixture that sometimes uses a sauce and sometimes used as a dip, which is kind of how we're going to set it up today. So we're going to do this entire operation in real time in one take. We're going to start by throwing some pita into the oven to warm up. While it's warming up, we're going to make the tzatziki, okay? First, I'm going to peel these two cucumbers. We're going to use two cucumbers and about two cups of Greek yogurt. The time it takes to warm some pita up in the oven to make this tzatziki will get you in touch with what I mean by the real time of making this item. Now, then, cut these two cucumbers in half, and it's almost as if this tool was designed for this, but it's perfect for seeding the cucumber, the back of the vegetable peeler. I have a affection for these old-style vegetable peelers, not for everything, but for some things. Let's get the seeds out of there. No, oh, that peat is about half warm right now. I better hurry up. Okay, now let's take these cucumbers and give them a quick chop so they can move around inside this food processor. Now we're not going to liquefy these cucumbers, but we're going to have some noise right now. Perfecto. Now, we're going to take the cucumber mix and we're going to put it over a strainer. Now, got some tasty cucumber water underneath there, but before we do that, we're going to take this cucumber and we're going to wring it out. Because we don't want this to water down the tzatziki. Let's see how much water is in here. I'm going to show you how much water is in this bowl when I'm done. So now we've got drained cucumber pulp, which you're going to put in this bowl. See, it's, it's almost a solid again. And that's how much cucumber water we got in there. We got a cup, a solid cup of cucumber water that was left. So we want to get that out of there. Now, based on how much cucumber flesh I have in there, I'm going to put the amount of yogurt that I want to go in there. So we started out with two cucumbers. Now we're putting uh, about a cup and a half, cup and a quarter of uh, uh, yogurt in there. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of garlic in there. You need to taste the garlic in there. This is a, should be a pronounced flavor inside of there. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper in here. And we're going to put a pinch of salt in here. We don't want to accidentally make this too salty. You can always add some more salt to it. And we're going to put a couple of teaspoons of olive oil in there. And we're going to mix this up. This has got a fair amount of cucumber in it, as you can see. So I'm going to add a pinch more of yogurt to it. So we got about a cup and a half of uh, yogurt there. Okay, we're done with the yogurt. Think that pita is hot enough yet? Let's taste this.
needs a pinch more salt. And now for the lemon juice. Got about a half of a lemon here for this amount so far. Give that a mix. This is good to go. This is nice. So, here's what I'm going to do. I got a little bowl with some spinach in it just for fun. And we're going to put some of the tzatziki right in the bowl. Now, if you put this in the fridge, it'll sit up a little bit. It'll firm up slightly, but it doesn't need to be. It's good just like it is like that. Then I have a little plate here with some onions. Kalamata olives and tomato. Now let's get the warm peat out. Look at that. Not even toasted, but nice and warm. Gonna cut the pita. Lay the pita up on this plate. This is down home kind of hors d'oeuvre. Good uh, Sunday afternoon football stuff a little bit, you know? Not to be confused with chicken wings, which are absolutely great. And um, let's do a little garnish for the tzatziki itself. Garnishing the tzatziki with a little bit of cucumber itself. Let's do a quick little julienne of some cucumber. piece was too big so I ate it. Put a little bit of cucumber on there and let's put a little bit of olive oil on there right up top. Now if you were a diehard and you loved garlic you could sprinkle a little bit of raw garlic on there. Not much of course. Then I'm going to throw a little bit of chopped parsley on there. Now there you have tzatziki. Now that didn't take very long. I think I made the tzatziki toasted. Of course these took me about a minute to cut up before. But uh, you don't need me to teach you how to slice an onion and dice a tomato. So I got some nice pitted Kalamata olives with this. Part of the reason I'm showing you this particular little appetizer is this is going to be part of a meze platter with falafel and hummus that we're doing in another lesson in this uh, appetizer section. So there you have it. Authentic Greek tzatziki yogurt sauce.